Thank you for using GL Sciences products. In this video, we will introduce our recommended HPLC column washing method. We will pay attention to the washing method for the reverse phase column such as our C18 column. When do you need to wash the columns? We will introduce four cases, after which washing your column is advised. The first case, is when the pressure is more than 5% higher than previous analysis. When the pressure is high, it might be that the column is clogged. It is important to record the pressure of your new column under your analysis conditions. That way you can monitor pressure rises. The second case, is when the peak shape deteriorates. Examples are split peaks, tailing peaks and fronting peaks. These symptoms can be caused by dirt being absorbed on the column. This can change the retention. The target component can be absorbed by the dirty part. In this case, we have to wash the dirt from the column. The third case, is when the theoretical plate number decreased by 10% or more. If the column becomes dirty, noise may increase or the peak shape may deteriorate. As a result, the theoretical plate number will gradually decrease. The last case is when you want to store your columns for more than 10 days. If the column has been used with an acidic, alkaline or salt condition for a long time, it may cause deterioration of the column. Make sure to wash the column before storing the column. We have discussed four scenarios after which you should was your column. Now we will explain how to wash the reversed phase mode column such as a C18 column. The solvents that are used to wash reversed phase columns, have different detergent strengths. Of these, water is the weakest detergent. Hexane is the strongest detergent. A weak solvent is usually used as the mobile phase for a reversed phase column. Washing a column may require a stronger solvent. We would recommend to start washing with either methanol or acetonitrile. They can easily be mixed with water. If the cleaning is insufficient with methanol or acetonitrile, increase the strength of the detergent for the second washing method. It is better to use tetrahydrofuran, ethanol or isopropanol. These solvents have a stronger detergency. However, make sure to increase the pressure when using isopropanol. If the cleaning is also insufficient with the second choice solvent group, use hexane as the final choice solvent. However, hexane does not mix with the first choice solvent group. Therefore, make sure to use hexane after applying the second solvent group. We will explain the washing method on the following slides. First of all, create a mixture of 5 to 20% of the first choice detergents with water. Run this solvent through the column. The reason for flushing under water-rich conditions is to remove precipitated substances, such as salts, remaining on the column. The volume to use is more than 5 times the column volume. For example, a column with an inner diameter of 4.6 mm and a length of 150 mm has a column volume of 2.5 ml. The washing solution to be flushed must be 12.5 milliliters or more. When washing at a flow rate of 1.0 milliliters per minute, running time must be at least 12.5 minutes. The column volume can be calculated by the formula shown here. The column volume of typical sizes are shown. Please refer to them. After washing with a mixture of water and organic solvent, wash the column with 100% organic solvent. The volume to use is more than 10 times the column volume. For example, a column with an inner diameter of 4.6 mm and a length of 250 mm has a column volume of 4.2 ml. The washing solution to be used must be 42 ml or more. Finally, use the mixed solution of water and organic solvent to flush the column. Use an amount of 5 times the column volume. After this, you can use the column under the usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not. 
If the basic cleaning methods introduced so far do not improve the chromatography, try an advanced washing method using organic solvents of the second choice or final choice. First wash with an organic solvent containing water, to prevent salt precipitation. This is similar to the previous method. Fill the column with 100% organic solvent of the first choice and run 5 times the column volume. Then fill it with 100% organic solvent of the second choice and run 10 times the column volume. Then return to the 100% organic solvent of the first choice. Run this, again, with 5 times the column volume. Then, return to the mixture of organic solvent and water, and let it flow for at least 5 times the column volume. After that, use the column under the usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not. The same applies when flowing the hexane from the final choice. After flowing the mixed solution of water and the organic solvent of the first choice and flow 100% the first choice solvent, flow the second choice solvent. Follow up with using the final choice detergent. Then return to the organic solvent of the second choice solvent and the first choice solvent. Please note that hexane only mixes with the second group solvents. This is the same process as the first and second solvent group method already introduced. Return to the mixture of organic solvent and water, and let it run at least five times of column volume. After that, use the column under the usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, please feel free to contact us again or visit our website for support.